to grisly tales for gruesome kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. I call this tale the Crystal Eye. Once upon a new year, a time when old is discarded for new and little children make dangerous promises to be good, there lived a gypsy with only one eye. Her other eye was a crystal ball through which she watched the wicked world. <laughs> story starts on Christmas Day, although in truth it started ten years before, when Thick and Finn were born. The twins were so alike, their parents made them wear badges to tell them apart. But they didn't need badges. Where Finn was always an angel, Thick was never less than a devil. Right, time to look at my toys again. Oh, I do love Christmas, he swooned. How did that get there? And he helped himself to the only present that poor, uncomplaining Finn had left. These are meant to be Finn's presents as well, said their mother. That's why we gave them to both of you. I hate being a twin. Everyone treats us like we're one person split in two. I don't want to own my presents with Finn. I want them for me. You really must learn to share, Fick. You should make it your New Year resolution. Fick felt sick at the thought. Well, if you're all going to be so nitpicky and selfish, he shouted, we'll just have to sort out this present disaster now. On Christmas Day, we need twice the number of presents. But the shops aren't open. Now! As they passed a department store window, Fick pointed at the glittering gifts inside. That's what I want for next Christmas, he said. Uh, what exactly are you pointing at? I'm not exactly pointing at anything, dung brain. I want the whole shop. Come on. Fick and Finn's father worked in a sawmill. Fick revealed his plan once the huge circular saw had been switched on. This is much better than sharing. This way we own half each. Finn gawked as half a football, half a robomorph, half a game pod, half a puppy. No! Oh! All right, not half a puppy, but half a mutant tortoise. <coughs> half a book. When I get to the end of my half, can I borrow yours to find out how the story ends? No! It's mine! By your own, Skin Flint! And half a walkie-talkie fell out onto the floor. And whose wheelbarrow is this? Mine! yelled their father. Not anymore, said Fick. What's yours is mine, half and half, straight down the middle. And he sliced the wheelbarrow in two. This meant they had nothing to carry the presents home in. So Fick piled up Finn and told him to get walking. <laughs> but half this lot's yours. I'm sharing you, cheesemonger, just like Mum and Dad said I had to. Honestly, you're so mean. An all-seeing crystal eye blinked and swivelled in its socket as a silver coin flip-flopped into the snow. Finn bent down to pick it up, but Fick beat him to it. That's mine! Ah! Oh! It was hot. And then it happened. That night, a Romany fortune horse fell out of a cracker, and Fick and Finn's mother made a wish. Whoa! 
and her wish came true. It was only a bit of fun, she protested as Fick refused to see the funny side. You hate me. You're always wishing I was a goody-goody like Finn. Well, I'm not. In fact, from now on, I'm going to be twice as bad. Come back, shouted his father as Fick stomped upstairs to his bedroom. You'll ruin the rest of Christmas. Far from being ruined, however, the rest of Christmas was an altogether more pleasant affair, with Fick barricaded into his bedroom. It was a big sulk. He didn't see a living soul for five long days and nights. Come New Year's Eve, Fick was starving. He did have an orange left over from his Christmas stocking, but it had turned into a green. Downstairs, Finn was making his New Year resolutions. To do more cleaning and not drop litter, when Fick slouched in. Your turn, Fick. Make that resolution to be more like Finn. Nothing ever changed. Sing a different tune because the ears aren't listening. But somebody was. Because just then, the doorbell rang. Like the good boy that he was, Finn opened the front door. He got the shock of his life. Mummy, there's another one of me and Fick at the door. But it was just a reflection. Are you Fick? Asked the old gypsy woman. No, I'm Finn. Oh, get your brother. I hate twins, she muttered as the looking glass filled up with smoke. What do you want? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. The coin was a perfect match for Fick's scar, which meant that the golden mirror belonged to him. So, none of it belongs to Finn? This mirror has eyes for you alone. It must be blind, then, because I haven't got a reflection. You will see what the rest of the world sees soon enough, but do not wish your reflection in the glass, Fick, for once there, it can never leave. This is a joke, right? This is your chance to make amends. New Year is a time when gypsies embrace what is healthy and new and cast aside what they no longer want. And a mirror can help do that? He scoffed. This mirror can, said the crone with the crooked smile. Of course, when Fick's mother told Fick that he had to share his present with his brother, Fick refused. It's mine. Nobody else is allowed to even look in it. I don't mind, said Finn. So wise, said the gypsy. There's one more thing. The mirror is on loan. You mean I have to give it back? What sort of a cheesy present's that? How long have I got it for? For as long as it takes. No longer. Fick hated the mirror. It wasn't his and it didn't work. When his father hung it up, it was still full of smoke. He was searching for a secret flap to let the smoke out when suddenly he uncovered a mysterious inscription. Lex talionis, like for like. Finn, look, quick, there's a reflection. But when Finn turned round, the glass smoked up again. Ha ha, said Finn. It was there! Finn! Finn! But Finn was already halfway down the stairs, halfway to safety, halfway to a happy new year. <laughs> now that Fick was alone, the smoke dispersed. Hi, me, he said, mocking his own reflection. <laughs> oh, spooky, I'm really scared of you. And, and so, so you, you should, should be. be. Fick stood statue still. No, that's wrong. You're a reflection. You can't talk. You can't do anything that I don't do first. But you're my slave. You do what I tell you. You dance to my tune. <sighs> Let, Let me know, know when, when you've finished. finished. Now, now we're, we're making, making progress. progress. You, you see, see, I'm not, not a normal, normal reflection. reflection. I'm, I'm the, the reflection, reflection you don't want to see. see. Then I'll shut my eyes. No, no deal. deal. I'm, I'm going to show, show you, you as others see you. 
If, if as a consequence, consequence you change your ways, I shall go back to being your slave. But fail to listen. And what? <laughs> Fix swallowed nervously. Okay, so maybe you can show me how you'd like me to behave, but you can't actually make me do anything. The reflection begged to differ. Ooh, ow, ah, ooh. All right, that's enough. So I have your attention now. Yes. Good, said the reflection. Then we, we can, can begin. begin. Ow! <laughs>